The Obama administration is refusing to join international calls for a complete end to the Israeli siege of the Gaza Strip. On Sunday, Israel formally unveiled its plan to alter the blockade following global outcry over its deadly assault on a flotilla trying to bring aid to Gaza last month. In a reversal, Israel will now maintain a list of items barred from Gaza instead of a list of the around 114 items that it's allowed in. Israel will still control the flow of goods entering Gaza and maintain both the sea blockade and the ban on vital building materials. Middle East envoy Tony Blair said the changes will improve civilian life on the ground. This new policy allows the government of Israel and the prime minister to maintain their absolute determination to protect Israel's security whilst improving significantly the lives of people in Gaza. The United Nations and multiple human rights groups have called for a complete end to the Gaza blockade. In a sign of support for the Israeli move, the White House applauded the new changes and announced President Obama will host Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Washington early next month. In Gaza, Hamas spokesperson Ismail Radwan said Israel should lift the siege completely. This is an attempt to circumvent the international decision to completely lift the siege in Gaza. This is an attempt to deflect the pressure and popular anger on the Islamic and Arab level, as well as by the free people of the world who call for the lifting of the siege in Gaza.